Hong Kong Mahjong is the best style to learn if you're just getting into Mahjong. It's a lot like Rummy, four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. The combination of your hand overall will determine your score. I'm going to do some random pulls so you can see how the tiles work together. And also, if you already know how to play, this is really great practice. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Hong Kong Mahjong is played in rounds. There are four. One for each seat. East, South, West, and North. Player one, two, three, and four. So we'll just say we're the dealer. It's East Round. We're going to get 14 tiles. So this mimics the drawn hand. For the dealer, we get 14 tiles. For non-dealer, you would get 13. And you have to make something of these random tiles. You can have four sets in a pair where the sets can be three of a kind, that would be called a pung, or three in a sequence. For example, five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight. So this is a potential three in a sequence called a chow. We have a potential here or here, two, four. Then we have a potential here, here, and then of course there's a pong or a pair. And then we would need to make chows out of this because you need four sets and a pair. I think that what I would try here is all chow, all three in a sequence. We have one, two, three potential chows and a pair and then we would need to draw in more potential for chows that would be a one fawn hand we have no flowers right now if you have no flowers that's a fawn so this would end up being a two fawn hand usually chows are going to be a lower scoring hand pungs are going to be a little higher but we only have one and only one pair okay so that was the random pull for east round now we're going to do south round the reason that's important is because if you have a pair of your seat wind or the wind of the round you can get score for that here's an east we have a single and single honors which are winds and dragons are not helpful you got to pair them up so you can pung them. There are no, ch no chows with honors. You have to get pairs and pungs. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. South round. Random pull two. Here we have a little child potential here, here, and here. We've got a pair of east. We are in the east seat, and it is the south round. We have a flower, number two. So we'll get a replacement for that. We got a nine dot, which is kind of nice because now we have a potential chow there. So we have one potential chow here, one here, one here and here, and then we have a pair of east. So I think what I would probably try to do, I would try to play my seat wind. If you get a three of a kind of your seat, which is east, you get a fawn for that. So I think that's what I would try. I would chow and go for my seat wind. That would be just a one fawn hand. It'd be pretty low score, but only the winner gets paid. So seat wind, chow. Since we have so many mixed suit tiles, to try to get with maybe one suit with honors, which would be a higher scoring hand, would be 
a lot of discards. Maybe what I would do is discard these two first, see if I draw in cracks to maybe get to what's called a half flush, one suit with honors. That would be three fawn plus this. A pung of east would be another. That would be a four fawn. So a lot of times if you clear your hand from the off suit tiles and go with one suit with winds and dragons, it's a much higher scoring hand. But look at all these discards. That's pretty significant. We're going to do another random pull for West Round. Three flowers, two of our own. That's two fawn right there because we're in the east seat. That's pretty lucky. Flowers are pure luck. We'll get three replacements. We have three cracks, three bams, five dots, and some single honors. I think what I would try here is all chow. We have a pair. You always got to have a pair. There's potential chow in here, either five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. So there's chow potential there, here, here, same situation here. So we would need to draw in more number tiles. I would discard these first and go for all chow. All chow would be one fawn with two flowers. That would be a three fawn hand. Even though we have our seat wind and one wind of the round, single tiles do no good for honors. You gotta pair them up so you can pung, which is a three of a kind. Last random pull, north round. We have a number two flower. We're seat one, so this isn't going to bring a score, but we did get a replacement. Okay. We have pairs. One, two, three, four. We could potentially play all pung. For all pung, all three of a kind, any of these discarded, we can say pung and make a three of a kind, or we can draw into it. All we need here is one more pair, which I don't think is an unreasonable expectation. Pung, 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 potential. This is north round. If we get a pung of west, that's not gonna bring us score, but it still helps us get to all three of a kind plus pair. All pung, that's a three fawn hand, which is decent. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to work with the tiles. Four sets and a pair. Three in a sequence is called a chow. Three of a kind is called a pung. Now, of course, there's four of everything, so you can get a four of a kind. That's called a kong. And you always got to get a replacement tile. If you missed the lesson, I go into how all that works. Look for a link below the video. And also, download the player reference with the scoring and a little bit about basic setup and gameplay on the back. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell after you click subscribe so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.